Hi, today we're gonna to talk about loading little melangers or small stone grinders. And this is where everybody starts. This is how you make test batches at home. And this is certainly how we began. In fact, we ran our business on little grinders like this for the first year or so, which was not a good idea. But it is a very good way to learn how to make chocolate and it does a pretty good job. So this is a little Premier Wonder Grinder. You can use little Cocoa Towns or Santas. It doesn't matter too much. The way you load them does matter though. And so what we have is we have all our weighed out ingredients. Our test batches are 60% nibs, 10% cocoa butter, and then 30% sugar. And so that's what we're gonna load here today. It's easy if you pre-grind the nibs somehow, you can use a blender or some type of, um, something to turn it into a paste. In our case, we used to use a grain mill, which is where you actually grain mill and, and two plates come together and one smashes it up into smaller pieces. As soon as it gets hot, it gets easier to load. And so we're gonna skip that step. We're just gonna start loading this now and show you what we mean. But we've got a whole bunch of nibs here. I'm gonna turn this on. But before I do that, I wanna add a little bit of cocoa butter. And so this is all melted now. We just use our heat gun. This is one of the tools that you're gonna to wanna to have. We used to use blow dryers, but this is much more um, appropriate and faster to get the job done. And so we melted all the chunks of cocoa butter. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of this butter. And now we've got the stones that are all lubricated. It's gonna be easier to start adding nibs in. You're gonna want a cloth, you're gonna want a scraper, and you're going to need a scale. Those are pretty much all you need in order to load a little grinder. And so now that this is going, I'm gonna start loading nibs in just by the handful. You can use a little spoon, whatever you feel comfortable with that keeps it kind of clean. I don't wanna tighten this too much. You tighten that too much, you're just gonna wear the stones out really fast. And it's unnecessary, especially initially. And so I try and never bring this down too far. Um, two turns tops, and that's over time. But initially, I just wanna make sure it catches because it's on a spring here, and it's got a, a screw that it goes onto. So as soon as you feel it catch, just do another little partial turn and you're good to go. So I'm gonna keep loading this here. You don't wanna load, you don't wanna load too fast because it'll put too much strain on the motor and it'll get too thick. And so if you wanna speed it up, you either pre-grind it first or heat it up, or you can add additional cocoa butter as you're loading it. Now what you can do is you use your heat gun and apply heat to the cocoa mass because nibs getting crushed up are called cocoa mass or cocoa liquor. And this is gonna help speed up the whole process. As the, the nibs get crushed up and turn more and more into cocoa liquor, it gets easier and easier to add more nibs. Already, you can see it's turning into a paste. Now in another, maybe four to six hours, this will be really liquidy looking chocolate. It'll look like chocolate, but it's not got any sugar yet. So we're gonna add sugar sometime around six hours, and that will then take another couple days before it's refined enough that you're not tasting any grittiness or it's hard to distinguish it as much. So let's reiterate, we have 60% nibs, 10% butter, 30% sugar. And that's just a really good ratio that you can get an idea of what these nibs or what these beans are going to be doing. And you're gonna pick up nuances that are maybe good or bad. So that's how we decide if we're gonna buy beans or not by running these test batches. And that's how you load a little grinder. And so we ran eight of them in order to start our business. I strongly recommend not doing that just because of the inefficiency of it. And they're not made for it. I, 
I was breaking these things constantly and trying to fix different parts of them so that we could keep making chocolate. They're just not made for industrial use. You might as well get a much larger one. What I did is I bought eight of these instead of one big stone grinder. It doesn't take that much longer to load 25 kilos than to load one. And so this was not a good option for starting the business. Anyway, hope this helps. Happy chocolate making.